Hello and welcome to Knowledge by Nature. In today's video, I'm going to show you how I'm planning for this week. Now it is Monday, so we've already done Monday, but I'm going to go ahead. You guys said that you were fine, that I'm not showing you like from the very, very beginning. So that's what I'm doing today is I'm going to show you how I'm planning for the rest of the week. Now today, Monday, we actually were catching up on a lot of stuff that we missed out on last week. So we actually didn't end up schooling Friday at all, and we didn't do much on Thursday either. I just kind of, um, we had co-op day, we had art, and then um, we did like do half of a science lesson, or not science, excuse me. Oh, I'm going to tell you about science in a minute, but half of a math lesson. So today we were kind of catching up on some of the stuff that we should have finished as far as like we had um, one thing from Redwood Literacy to finish and then we had, um, what was it? Oh, our sentence construction, we had that to finish. And then something else is a science. Now it is just kicking my booty right now because I'm not getting it done. It's not that it's not fun and that we don't like it, but... I won. I was trying to schedule it in history on the same day. That doesn't work for me. I don't know why I tried that again. I know it doesn't work for me, but sometimes we just have to remind ourselves that something doesn't work for us and that does not work for us. Um, one, one of those are going to get my attention, more of my attention. And right now, American history is going to get more of my attention. Now, a few years ago, it was history that I wasn't getting done. It was science that we were all in. We were doing science all the time and we were not hitting history very often. But so now I know I have to loop it. I already knew this, but I've just, you know, confirmed that with myself that I do have to loop it. But then last week, I put history up at the front. I did it. I was such a good little homeschool mom. And then we didn't do science because the end of the week, a lot of times comes with like kind of chaotic sort of mess with our schedule sort of thing. And so I think that I need to start putting science at the beginning of the week and history at the end of the week because, and let me tell you, one, I'm going to get this done because it's the beginning of the week. I feel like, hey, I'm marking stuff off. I'm doing what I'm supposed to do. And I'm really, really productive Monday through Wednesday. Now, the next thing is even if the end of the week is really busy, I can almost guarantee you that I am going to squeeze history in there somewhere because that is what I'm wanting to do so bad. Like I am loving American history. That's what I want to do. So I know that putting it at the end of the week, I have a very high probability of hitting it even if our day gets completely bamboozled, okay? So this worked really good. We had so much fun today. We did a moon painting. We talked about the moon landing. We talked about going back to the moon. We did the moon phases with Oreos. I mean, we did a lot. We watched like three or four videos. It was great. It was really, really good. Now tomorrow, I don't know if I'm gonna go ahead and go to the sun, which you see wrote here. Um, so for this week, I'm looking at hitting the moon. And so there's like one more where we can like make moon sand. And I might just do that for fun, but then go ahead and go to the sun. I don't know. I haven't decided what I'm going to do. I'll know in the morning. <laughs> but that's what I have right now scheduled out is the moon. And so really, I feel like I, I hit the moon really, really good. And we watched so many videos. So that's why I hate to maybe put the moon on again tomorrow. Oh, and I found this little book in my stuff. So we'll either read this for like bedtime tonight or sometime tomorrow, or I'll just set it out and she can read it. But I feel like we learned a lot about the moon today. And so we may just go ahead and move to the sun and do that tomorrow. But either way, I have that. Now you may also see right here, IEW. Yes, I downloaded the sample over the weekend and we are going to give the IEW sample a try. Um, it kind of goes along with that fix it grammar of, I don't really know why I haven't tried it, but I love fix it grammar so much that I think I am going to give the sample a try. So you're able to download, I want to say like three weeks or something like that. And so we're going to try that tomorrow. Now, because I'm jumping into this, I'm kind of leaving this week a little bit lighter than normal. 
um, because as you saw, like we were doing a lot with Redwood Literacy, which we are going to be doing that. I do have to add some more stuff in, but um, yeah, I'm not going to overwhelm the schedule quite so much this week as I have been doing. All right, let's see. What else do we got going here? All right, so we've talked about my science history conundrum. For history, we are going to be starting... Oh, this is... See, this is so fun. Listen, we're going to be talking about the Salem Witch Trials, which, oh, that is so up my alley. I am so excited about this. And then I am also going to start reading um, The Witch of Blackbird Pond, which kind of goes along... Well, it doesn't kind of. It does go along with this. And it talks about the good and the bad of the Puritan kind of beliefs and everything that was going on at that time. And so I'm really, really excited about this. And I knew I couldn't start history this week with that, or there would be no chance of us getting back on a science schedule. And so that is what we will be doing on a Wednesday. And so I'm also going to be starting that read aloud. Now I might even start the read aloud tomorrow on Tuesday, but for sure, I'll be doing the history read aloud on Wednesday, but I, I kind of want to build a little bit on it before I start the read aloud. So I'm going to ref try to refrain from starting that tomorrow um, and then do the history read aloud after I've introduced this topic of the Salem Witch Trials. So she kind of knows where this book is coming from. Um, as far as her novel study and The Last Bear... Um, we're doing one chapter a day, which is really kind of making this slow. Um, and so I don't know that the only bad thing about this assigned novel sort of situation is that I think it can be a little bit hard to kind of get into a story if you're limited to one chapter per day. But I think if I do any more than that, then these little like novel study things that I got to go with it it's going to be kind of pointless. Like I'm not going to expect her to do all of this writing and everything. So I'm at a little loss of that, but she may just not enjoy the novel as much because it's going to be slower getting into it. But I do still want to go ahead and do the novel study with that. So I have that here. And so we'll do, um, we didn't do that today because she started reading this. She read 12 chapters of this this morning. She absolutely is loving this book. So I asked her this morning, I was like, go ahead and get yourself another read aloud that you can just like dive into and go with. Um, and so that's what she did. And we will go ahead and assign the last bear tomorrow. And so I'm going to put chapter four here. So we'll try to do chapter four and chapter five and maybe chapter six this week. Um, but it, like I said, each of those kind of have a worksheet that goes along with it. And I feel that if she kind of goes off reading, then she's going to be behind. Or would it be okay to like read it and then come back? I don't know. This is kind of our first like real novel study like this. So you guys put me down, put some comments down there. Let me know. Should I just let her take off reading it and then go back and like look the things up if she needs to? Or should we just kind of stick with this week by week and just keep taking off with other books like this? I don't know. You guys help me out there. I need a little, what do you think? What would you do? Because um, this is a good book. The Last Bear is a good book. But I think because she's just limited to that one chapter, um, I don't know that she's going to get into it as much. But I think she will at the same time because I think she's going to want to take off with it, to be honest. Because once this animal interaction starts taking a hold of her, I think she's going to want to keep reading. And if she wants to keep reading, I don't know that I'm going to stop her. I think I'm, I might just let her go. But you guys tell me. You, you tell me. I haven't done a novel study. Have you done one? Let me know. All right. Spelling. So we did our All About Spelling um, Lesson 10 today, which was talking about that O sound again, which we were talking about last week. And so this one is actually talking about all of those sounds, which is actually what the whole Spelling Connections was about. So we're just going to finish the Spelling Connection sheets that we didn't do because we actually ended up doing like a little Valentine craft with our spelling last week and didn't get all of those done. So that is what we will be doing. We used our little mini writables today, super fun. So our Fix-It Grammar, we had one day that we had to come back and make up. So we didn't finish our fourth day with Fix-It Grammar. 
I think we can do a complete week this week because we should be able to school five days this week. Every other week, we should be able to school five days. And so I am thinking that we can go ahead and catch up with that so that come next week, we're starting on week seven and we'll only have that four day, which is what I really need. Dimensions, I'm hoping to hit five days. Now, normally I would not be hitting dimensions five days, but we need to. We need to start hitting it a little bit harder um, because there's just been so much time off and things like that. Already talked about the science. I already mentioned the IEW here where we're doing that sample. And be sure and check online, guys. Anytime you're looking at a curriculum, most have some sort of little something to look at. IEW is great as far as giving you three weeks. That is how I knew I wanted to do Fix-It Grammar. And then we've got our sentence construction, which I am really liking and ties in super nice with our Redwood Literacy this week. So we were, again, behind on this one last week because we didn't get it finished. But it was also really, really easy to kind of make up those days. So Thursday and Friday is combining sentences and Friday is sentence scramble. This was super easy to do with this one. It wasn't a big deal at all. So she just did those two. And you know what? I think I'm gonna start doing that a little bit more is to combine a couple of these on one day so that we can kind of get more done at once because I think we can do these really easily um, together, especially like find the fragment. It's very simple. There's not a whole lot of writing. For the sentence scramble, I put all of these on a little mini writable tile, which you guys know what I'm talking about. Um, hopefully you do. These are from Jack and Link, which I absolutely love. I've talked about these a lot this year because we added them. So you can see I actually still have them on here. This was the scramble that she had to do. So it was really nice because she could first unscramble them with the tiles and make sure that she got the sentence properly like in order and then she could write it so I did love using the sentence scramble the little tiles for that sentence scramble so yeah mini writables jack and link I'll put them down in the description so this week redwood literacy is talking about sentence types so we have our um statement question command exclamation okay all of that this is not this is not redwood literacy but this is going perfect with redwood literacy so i didn't actually end up printing everything for this week because they were having them do this and so i was like i don't think we need to do that two times so let's just do this one worksheet where we are creating these sentence types and so that i printed this to put in her little fourth grade notebook and then here is one sheet where we are going to do the kind of sentence. Um, another one is going to be like verbal. So we're gonna like roll a dice. If you roll a one, it's a statement. And so you do a sentence as a statement. If you roll a two, it's a command. And so it's just like a little um, game that you don't have to write with. So I didn't have anything to print with that. So this is the Redwood Literacy. So I'm gonna go ahead and make a note really quick for this. And then as I said, this goes with it. So we're just going to use this as reinforcement for what we're learning with our Redwood Literacy. So I will kind of read through the material for Redwood Literacy, but then we'll actually kind of do this to go with it. And this is the Stellar Teacher Company, which is another one that I have found on um, Teachers Pay Teachers that I'm just loving. Um, as far as Rover, now our little novel study with our mentor text, we read Rover already, but we still have, I want to edit the sentence and I also want to imitate the sentence. So that will be part of our lesson that we didn't get to do last week that I'm just gonna finish this week. Instead of starting another week where we would go all through this and then she has an edit sheet right here where we're gonna be talking about these relative adverbs again. And I may throw in another little like printable or something where we're talking about where, why, and when with this relative adverb. So I am gonna go ahead and write that down. 
So yes, editing assessment, then we're gonna imitate the sentence. So our sentence was, this one's messed up. Um, I am wheeled into a room where I am subjected to freezing temperatures. So we did actually edit that last week and now we're gonna imitate it. And so we're gonna do that this week and then we're going to do the editing assessment. And so again, this is all really from our last week's sentence, but we're just gonna roll with it and do it this week. Something I didn't hit last week is the figurative language where we're talking about similes and metaphors. And just know, you hear me saying we didn't hit it that week. Well, that happens a lot. There, um, usually I don't miss this many things, but it's okay if you don't finish everything that was on the plan. Just try to do your best the next week. And that's what we're gonna do. We're just gonna catch up with these. Similes and metaphors, we'll um, listen or watch Dancing Hands on YouTube. And there we go on that. So I'll be able to check this stuff off. I can always add in more. If we get to Thursday and I've busted out all of this, I can add in more. And some of the stuff that I will be adding in is from Guest Hollow. This is Beowulf Grammar, and we're just working with those adjectives again. This one is really fun because she's going to be creating a little menu and using adjectives to describe her food. So we have food adjectives, food nouns, colors and smells, desserts, and then an example of how we could like write out something on the menu. So this will likely be later in the week. This is like coming in if I've like got all this because I think IEW is gonna be three days. So that is likely going to be Tuesday, Wednesday, and Friday. I don't know if I can squeeze it in on Thursday, but we're gonna start IEW on Tuesday. I think we'll watch a video, watch a video, and it's just the first one. So again, I'm learning this, so I'll update you on what I think of this, but this is kind of for later in the week, and so let's go ahead and write that down. Get my little highlighter out here, and this is where I usually just kind of add extras. Adjective menu, yes. And then I even have an adjective sheet, which um, we could do if we wanted to. This isn't a big deal. This is just like an extra that I have printed out that which helps us practice our adjective work, which I wanna have the beefier sentences. And so that is why I'm working on this adjective so much is that I want to get um, more descriptions into our sentences, which I think, again, this is gonna come from IEW as well, I think. All right, we've already talked about history and then we've got not grass. I honestly don't know if we've talked about this or not. I've forgotten at this point. Um, so last week we did not finish our Connecticut. Um, we finished this part of Connecticut where we were talking about the tides. We even watched like a video and stuff, but she never went back here and did this. Now last week, if you watch my last planning video, I'll pop it right here. You will know that I kind of have this whole new schedule going. And last week I did like a little checkoff schedule where she would do everything. Well, we kind of found a flow to where I have a really good break time. So I didn't even mess with the schedule this week actually, but know that our schedule is still wonky. I'm just not, um, you're not seeing that presented so much this week because I found a way to like, I work in the morning and then we just come in and we start doing stuff together. And then maybe I'm doing the dishes or something like that. And she can do some independent work. Um, if she asks me for it and she wants to start checking stuff off again, that's fine. I will do it. But um, really, I think it's okay. Which reminds me, I want to add in here. Last week I didn't do the section where I'm reminding her to do her chores because I had it on her little um, planner. Let me show you this. Did you watch me last week? Did you know about this? So here you can see I wrote out the days and had her do the things and she'd come over here and check it off. Um, well, really, honestly, by Wednesday, we were just kind of, we had found a groove of me being able to like work more with her while still her being independent. And so I am going to put the chores in here again, but 
whoa, we rabbit trailed right there, didn't we? Let's go back to here, not grass. So I didn't finish the song and the story. And then I want to go back and do the lesson review. And honestly, I think I like this a little bit to where we come back the next week and review the previous state. So I may go ahead and we'll do the song and story tomorrow with the lesson review. And then I think we'll go ahead and start New York where we do this page. And then next week will be this one. That's what I'm thinking. So I'm going to go ahead and put this down. So this would be lesson 13, New York, because I do like that, which is really odd for me to kind of be, uh, in limbo with a curriculum like that, but I did. I like talking about the state and then having the lesson review the next week. And so we may just keep on this where we're still doing two, but we're not doing this quite the same. I don't know. We're going to try it, but that is what we're doing right now. And then we have one more thing that I have put in for Friday. She's doing a little baking school. And so we need to go through some workbook readings and then we will be making some soft pretzels. So I have that on Friday because I think that will be the best day to get that done. All right. So this is my plan for the week. And I feel like I'm going to get everything checked off this week, which I'm really, really excited about. And maybe I should like gravitate more towards this. I don't know, but, um, or at least have a plan for every other Friday of maybe this is what next week should look like. And then the following week should be a heavier week. So we'll get it. You know, it just, that's the way it goes. There was a big schedule change last week on top of everything else. And so, yep, that's what this week is looking like. I think it's going to be a very successful week. I already feel successful because I marked off the moon science project today. So it was really fun. I felt relaxed knowing that we had the time to do it. It was set over here to the side. And so I think that is gonna be a key is setting science to the beginning of the week for me. Um, she is going to highly recommend this book, I'm quite sure. And so I think she'll probably finish this tomorrow. And then I think there's a movie. So we'll watch the movie sometime this week too. So um, if you have any questions or comments, put them down in the description below. Please leave me any of your opinions on this completion of a novel study how I should handle that. So put that down in the bottom if you have any opinions for me on that. Otherwise, thanks for hanging out with me. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you did, give me a thumbs up, consider hitting that subscribe button, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.